to cut the thread of life with a thought. Oh! I didn't want to do that! Hello you and welcome back. Today we are playing Baldur's Gate 3. We are still at Moonrise Towers. I let the goblins go and I am so sad because Minrasa, I believe her name was, isn't here. So I think I failed that option back in the goblin cab. I'm really upset about this. I even debated going all the way back. To do it right, but ah man, ah, it's too many hours. I, I, I have settled, kind of. I have settled for this playthrough. Her not being in, probably as a companion. I think she wasn't meant to be a companion. I don't know, but ah, that's unfortunate. Anyway, we did meet Catherine Torm. If you hear anything, I'm being a little bit distracted. Apologies. If you hear anything, there's like a big rainstorm. <laughs> happening in the Netherlands right now. My cats are wild because of it. I can't do anything about it, okay? <laughs> just just so you're aware. Ah, I gotta get rid of you, that's for sure. Hi. Good luck, true soul. The disciple demands much of those who serve her. Yeah, I need to talk to her, and I'm a little bit nervous because I let the goblins go because I kind of felt bad, even though I killed every single one of the goblins in the goblin camp, but now I suddenly felt bad. I gotta talk my way out of it, but I'm confident I can. Death Don't Forge. try giving orders, true soul. Everyone here answers directly to Zarel. I wasn't gonna, but that means that's probably your own experience, huh? Oh, you do. Oh, that's a nice tapestry. You're not important enough to talk about, so. Ooh, that is nice. I wonder how it was like before the curse. I'm, I'm so curious. Can you stop being wild? I'm so curious what it's going to be like. Maybe if we fix and disband of the curse? Whoa, what's happening? Huh. An honor, true soul. Oh, at least you're nice to me, Jesus. You'll find traitors in the entrance hall. Absolute draws coin as well as pilgrims, eh? Eh, eh, yeah, eh. All right, so let me check out the map. Um, yeah, I gotta talk to you. There's some strange, suspicious sounds going on there. Let me just see what we have. Ah, uh, what's this? I know I need to talk to the disciple, but I don't want to yet. <laughs> she can wait. Hey, who are you? Are you Aray? Araj Oblodra, trader in blood and the sanguineous arts. It is a pleasure to stand before a true soul and your pale companion. Asterian? I'd what? like to offer my services, if you're willing. Oh, so blood dealings, huh? Asterion is looking at her like, what do you want? How can I exploit this? I'm listening. What does a trader in blood do exactly? You trade blood? <laughs> is that the case? Why are you interested in my pale friend? I just want to see what you have in stock for now. So you immediately notice he's a vampire. Let me talk about Asterion a little bit. Why are you interested in my pale friend? My boyfriend. <laughs> Please. You think someone in my line of work wouldn't recognize a vampire spawn when they see one? I trade in blood and the potions that can be wrung from it. I'm more than happy to make you one. If you'd honor me with your blood. Do we want to? With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. To do what exactly? He's surprisingly quiet about it. Normally he has something witty to say, especially when directly talking to him. About him, he's surprisingly calm. Interesting. What kind of potion is this exactly? And what exactly will you do with the blood you keep? Yeah, that's what I'm interested in. Sounds interesting, let's do it. No, I'm not interested. What exactly will you do with the blood you keep? Research, naturally. A little experimentation, perhaps. I have an innate curiosity for all things sanguine. Hmm. What kind of potion is this exactly? No idea. But it will be unique to you. Should we do it? The blood essence and the absolute's blessing intertwined. <laughs> we can learn exactly what that means together. Hmm. hmm. What do you think, Asterion? You know what? 
I've been ballsy up to this point. It would be a shame for me to stop now, right? <laughs> all right, let's do it. Just a little prick and it's all over. Close your eyes. There we are. All of your very it. best traits in a bottle. Use it well. You did it very quickly, I might say. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your vampiric friend. He's so pretty but here. Don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. There you go. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. Excuse me. I assume he belongs to you. Uh, whoa! 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 Yes. <laughs> but no. <laughs> Excuse me, he's his own person. We travel together, that's all. He does what I tell him, if that's what you mean. Yes, all oh my, listen, the possessive woman in me is like, yep, he belongs to me, all right. But I know it would mean far more to him if I'd say he's his own person. I, I mean, he's been a slave to his own master for so long and now finally is free. I'm not gonna claim any ownership of him in that regard. Nah, nah. He's his own person. I'm sure he really believes that. How utterly adorable. Root! Do you have a name, Spawn? Whoa! <laughs> Starian, but hold on. Good. Now, a Starian. I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. No! Nope. nope. I'm sorry. You want to be bitten. He's so expressive. Blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes. I want it. No! I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. Well, it's okay. Sale, but it's yours. If you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Oh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? He gave you his answer, and that's enough for me. He doesn't want to, so I'm not gonna force him to. I was intrigued with the legendary potion, and if he was alright with that, then that would have been fine. But part of me was also jealous. <laughs> like. I don't want him to buy you. <laughs> so, no. He said, no, there's nothing more to discuss. I am surprised, Asterion. I thought you'd jump at a chance like this. Just bite her. This potion seems useful. I'm curious about this. I want to defend him, obviously, but I'm curious. Why wouldn't he do that? All right, I'm surprised, Asterion. I thought you'd jump at a chance like this. I'm sorry, but... Could you excuse us a moment? He's so cute! Are you actually asking me to do this? No! Trading me for some, some, some potion? Of course not! Because there's something wrong with her blood. I can smell it from here. It's rank. He's so cute! What do you mean? What's wrong with her blood? Can you excuse us just a moment? A potion that is powerful could change our fates. Isn't that worth a bad taste in your mouth? This is your choice. Do what you want. Don't be bad. Don't be dramatic. It's just a bite. One nip and you're done. What do you mean? What's wrong with her blood? I can't say. It just smells wrong. Unnatural. You think he'd be but affected? It wouldn't kill me, but it would not be pleasant. Well, we won't do it. I don't have all day, true soul. Well, we're not gonna do it. He said no. Don't do anything you don't want to. It's up to you, but we could really use that potion. Nah, don't pressure him. Just suck it up and bite her already. Nah, if it's gonna also affect him, I don't want that. Ever. Don't do anything you don't want to. All right. Uh, thank you. Oh! Uh, it's still a no. I'm afraid. He's so How cute. Very disappointing. He's so cute. Thank you. I appreciated that. Oh. Are we getting closer? I mean, we already slept together, but you, emotionally closer? That's the thing I need personally in a relationship, so. Mm. <sighs> oh, 
that felt good. What are you doing, Pilgrim? She sees everything we are. Do you understand? There is no hiding from her. Would you like to hide? The absolute? Are you afraid? Well, you see the eye. I do understand. But you gotta turn back around, mister. So, steel claw. <laughs> She's being stealthier. He's even stealthier. Interesting. Oh, you guys told me that this rope would be better for Will because the charisma only happens when you're a warlock. But it looks so cute on me. So I'm just gonna wear it because I want to. <laughs> At least for now. If I fail in battle, then... And that would be unfortunate. Hmm. Let me see what else we have. Oh, I'm so happy with this conversation with Asterion. That felt really nice. Yeah, we can use this. Muckus. We can just grab this because I'm a true soul and I can do whatever the fuck I want. I grabbed a lot as a cat. But they restocked, so lucky us. Yeah, give me that mug of beer. Hinge out the hinges. I'm gonna try this. Okay. What? From the rafters below? You couldn't say that? Okay, apparently she's on mute now. Shall we check out the traitors? Oh, hi. I caught a glimpse of Ketherick and Sorel. Wouldn't have the gumption to stick my nose in like you did, mine. Hmm. Well, there's a difference between you and me, babe. Heard a rumor some do-gooder stopped a horde of absolutists from getting their hands on a load of druids. In some grove. That was Whoever me. It was, better pray the general doesn't smoke him out. Be a bloodbath, so it would. <laughs> well, thankfully that was not me, right? <laughs> I heard you put in a good word for our mates. Cheers. Cheers. You're welcome. I killed all of your other mates, but that's that's details. Okay, we'll work out the little details. I saw it's true, so the army. They're nearly ready. It's nearly time. I don't like that. Oh <laughs> yeah, she didn't like that either. Which army do you mean? And when the hour draws near, what role will you take? You want to trade? Wow. Come on, you got shit. You got shit. You don't even have money. The absolute sure doesn't pay well. <laughs> well, that's about it. All right, and when the hour draws near, we march to Boulder's Gate. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Which army do you mean? The, the the parasite army in the storage over there? Oh yeah, great. Us. We are so many. And we are marching to Baldur's Gate as soon as the Absolute gives word. I've never been to battle. I've never been to war. But I feel so calm. Ready. Manipulated. Manipulated, brainwashed. The goblins suffer. Rabble like that don't deserve mercy. <laughs> yeah, sure they suffered, all right. Sure they suffered. They suffered. Who's this? Hello, Zalip Bryn. Welcome. Hi. Self. The disciple will have work for you. I expect. So much to be done. I suppose so. Yeah, but I kind of disobeyed her order in a way. Hi. Who are you? If you have coin, then show it. If you have wares, then show it. What do you have on offer? You'd never peddle your wares with an attitude. Uh, your tone is asking for a beating, Buckbear. Huh, you'll never peddle your wares with an ad attitude. I do not peddle. <laughs> I put weapons in worthy hands. Oh, they have show it. They need warriors for her crusade. But I see only weaklings in this place. You are very interesting, actually, as a species. Well, you want a warrior? Here I am! You see this pretty dress? Looks nice, huh? Prove it! Who's singing your name? <laughs> the druids at the grove that I saved from your Lady Absolute. No one. Uh, drawer Zagzlin. This is not great for my dyslexia. <laughs> drawer Zagzlin isn't. I ripped him and his camp apart. Intimidation. You'll be screaming. Screaming. You. <laughs> You'll be screaming my name if you keep asking inane questions. Druid. Nature's beast with fangs of fury and unleashed 
claw. Is that it? And let's go with that. I'm a druid after all. All right, guidance. Let's go. Em. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm happy about that. All right, nice. Thought I smelt something outlandish about you. Very well. Well, look at yourself. Want anything from my stash? You pay less than the rest. Hell yeah, I did that. Well, yeah, I have on offer then, big boy. All right, well, let's see what we got. I am kind of rich, I guess. Oh, that one's nice. Yeah, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, with four? Sentinel weapon. It's two-handed. Extra reach. Kind of want it. You think I should get it? I think I should get it. <laughs> I think I should get it. So I'm just gonna grab that. Cause it's nice. Oh, I got a water discount there. <laughs> Ooh, that's maybe good for Carlac. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna sell because I just really like that one and that's good enough for me. Hold on. Think we can pickpocket him? <laughs> Probably not, dude. <laughs> I could try though. All right, that's fine for now. Slaughter well, true soul. Thank you. Oh, I also want to give Shadowheart the blood of the Thander again because that's just cool and better for the underground or not the underdark or the underground the Shadowlands. That might be good here though because I'm not really using invisibility. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we're fine. Good, thank you for that. Thank God I had that discount. It was a lot of discount. The disciple has returned upstairs, but perhaps she'll still see me. Eh, doubt it. <laughs> doubt. I'm bound for the war camp. I'm no fighter, but perhaps she sees something I do not. Your throwaway toys, my friend. They say the general cannot die. Perhaps, perhaps that will be the absolute's gift to us all. I doubt it. Your cannon fodder. That's about it. Oh, of many hearts, one soul. Of many thoughts, one mind. Of many parts, one whole. In her name, her design. Wow, you're really far off, huh? Jesus. Each pack of recruits they bring in is worse than the last. Can't trust them to sweep the stables, let alone swing a sword. And they're all headed to camp anyway. It's really curious you see so many different species flocking here to Moonrise Towers. The Absolute's power is growing and it's concerning. I thought the Absolute welcomed all believers. Persuasion, they have potential. Great warriors have grown from less. Ugh, do we want to even persuade that? Then get rid of them. The undeserving should be purged. It's not our place to question the Absolute's will. Hmm. I'm just gonna add. I don't know. I'm not. Why would I want to even do that? I thought the Absolute welcomed all believers. Not for me to say. All I know. Is they're bloody useless around here. Well, that's that's clear. All right. Well, they have potential then. Not that I really care, but <laughs> sure, they have potential, or maybe not. No, they don't have. Oh, they have potential. Yep, they have potential. Barely, but they have potential. No doubt. Isn't for me to question them above me. Right. I'm sure you know your business. Of course I I'll do. See they get all the help they need, true soul. And they'll need quite a bit. <laughs> and they'll need quite a bit. Do we have more traders? We do. Hey, Erina. It's Roa you want. We only talk when you've misbehaved. Ooh, I kind of like that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> mm, all right, Roa. Ah, a new you? Boss come to bask in the light of the absolute. How can I be of service, true soul? We already talked in the goblin camp, babe. New face we've met before at the goblin camp. Should I even should I even say that? Is that gonna give me away? We met before? Of course. Just before some godless lunatic purged the place of every innocent soul. Wasn't a pity me. Neither of us saw what happened. Yeah. 
terrible accident, a tragedy, really. Careful, that sounds like an accusation. A pity neither of us saw what happened. Ooh, does she know? Interesting, really, you saw nothing at all. Speak for yourself, I had a pretty good view of the slaughter. I could hardly call the goblins there innocent. Really, you saw nothing at all. Nothing worth repeating. Corpses don't much go in for commerce. Here, though, look around. All manner of beasties united against the enemies of the Absolute. Quite a god to bring them all together. And quite a fool who draw their ire. Hmm? <laughs> Is she aware, man? I don't know. You sound almost concerned for my safety. Drop the axe. What are you actually doing here? You are rather quick to find your fate. Indeed, can I see your wares? You almost sound concerned for my safety. More concerned that your business might be bad for my business. Got so it. So kicking the hive while there's still some honey to be had. Okay, that's fine by me. Let's trade. Ah, uh, 25. Let's see what you have, girly girl. I'm gonna go for the purple bits. Exotic material. Add your full dexterity modifier to your armor class. Sharpen snare. Creatures have disadvantage on saving throws when resisting your attacks and spells that inflict restraint. Is that good? I mean, it looks good. <laughs> Do I want it? Teleport, that's pretty cool. Many targets is also pretty cool. I kind of want the teleport things. Armor of Devotion? Eternal Devotion? Whoa, why is that so much? Oh my god, that's really cool. I kind of want that. <laughs> what the fuck? Listen, ma'am, I'll be back for that Devotion armor because that looks An cool. True so. Oh yeah, Cora, sure. Um, I'm gonna do... I'm just gonna go to camp for a minute. Just for a minute, because I want to trade my shit, <laughs> okay? I just really want to quickly trade my shit, because I have a lot of money, or I have a lot of wares I can sell, but it's all in my camp. Hey, girl, you want to come with me? Hey, you. Hey, girl. All right, so we're heading out. In your party. What should I do? Mm, I kind of want to leave Shadowheart, but Lazelle. Let's hop. Let's hop, babe. All right, all right. Yeah, I know you're leveled up. You don't have any fucking rings, babe. What? Yeah, I knew you could do that. Do we want to do that? Kind of want to do that. Let's just let's just try that. All right, let me level oh, up. Let me level up, Carlac, for a moment. I know we're taking some time here. Okay, just just let me do this. Yay. Okay. Cool. Yes. Yes. So I can wear heavy armor too now, which is nice. There's the chest, good. Let me take all of that, because I kind of want to buy that incredible armor. Can I take all? <laughs> um, that's going to be an issue, ain't it? Okay, you know what? Just take all. I Oh, I'm not even encumbered. Oh, I'm heavily encumbered. That's fine. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell. I want money. <laughs> so they better give me motherfucking money. Maybe I should sell to that dude. I know. I'm heavily encumbered. Look at me. <laughs> it's fine. Listen, sir. I brought a lot of things from camp. And you like me more. So maybe I get a better deal yeah. from him. Flo didn't tell a lie. She said you'd find me and here you are. Carlac, isn't it? Whoa. Now there's a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Whoa! Didn't think to quiz her about her business. Whoa, 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 who's Flo? What did this person want with Carlag? Who's Flo? Florenta the Garotta. A Cambian I knew back in Avernus. Oh, really? She was the closest thing I had to a friend. That said, she would have choked the life out of me if I ever turned my back on her. The fact that she knows where I am, or where I might be going, doesn't exactly delight me. That worries me too. Is she a threat? If she rears her head, we'll handle her. What does she want with you? Well, if she rears her head, we'll handle her. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. What did she want anyway? She came dressed as a novice, gave me three soul coins. 
Said I could sell them if I wanted. But if I kept them for you, she'd consider it a favor owed. Soul coins, huh? This could come in handy. Let's have the coins then. We shouldn't take anything offered by a devil. Too risky. I don't know. We got a lot of soul coins myself already. I know they're good. But I don't want to be indebted to a devil in any way. Can be in. But you're right. Then again, they could really come in handy. <sighs> Fine. Fine, if you want to, fine. Sure. But she did have a condition. Which is? For every coin you take, you've got to hear the story of the soul trapped inside. Ooh. There you have it. Flo came all this way just to try to make me feel like shit. Clever use of her time. Memorized a bunch of sad stories on her behalf, did you? Didn't need to. Your flow did some devil woo-woo and stuck him in my head. Couldn't forget now if I wanted to. You want the coins or not? I'm intrigued now, so yeah. <laughs> First coins got the soul of a woman named Mavery. She was born to a cruel mother and a violent father and three evil brothers all named Balder. Jesus. She never knew a day of love in all her life. When she was a girl of 15, she sold her soul to Tiamat in exchange for someone who would love her unconditionally. She got what she asked for. A fellow named Clint, destined to be her soulmate, struck by a cart and died a few moments after clapping eyes on our Mavery. Poor guy. Oh, that's tragic. The stud of her soul is yours now. Thanks, I guess. That's so... Aw, oh, you sell your soul for unconditional love and you get it for a fleeting moment only to have it be taken away from you. The trade-off does not seem fair. We'll put that, we'll put that coin to better use than Tamiad would have. That's a sad story indeed. The next coin, please! We'll put that coin to better use. <laughs> sure you will. This one has got the soul of a man named Frakes. Lived in a village near Neverwinter. Hit hard by the worst hunger in a thousand years. Frakes called out for help. Prayed for his children to have meat to eat. Zariel answered made old Frakes grow flesh upon flesh after flesh. His wee ones had all the meat they could stomach. Oh, he should have known. Better to die a thousand deaths than let Zariel into your life. That is absolutely foul. Unsurprising of Zariel. But foul all the same. We'll put his coin to good use. He'll help us rid the realms of people like Zariel. That's absolute foul. Karlak's the one set to consume his soul, I hear. Oh, great. Last one's got the soul of a little boy named Ongear. Eight years old. He liked playing in the sun with his friends. That's all I know. That's all you know? That's all? That's all. Oh, and this slip of scratch. What? Well, thanks, Flo. Hearing a bunch of desperate horror has ruined my day, which I suppose was the point. You got three soul coins out of the bargain, didn't you? I'd quit whinging if I were you. What's I did scrap? my part. That means our business is done. Unless you've got actual gold to hand. I do. I got a lot of things to sell. Let me see your wares. Boy, I got party time for you. <laughs> well, I'll be back. Oh, uh, you don't have enough gold. <laughs> Damn you. All right, thanks. I hope you can handle what I've got. Well, you got a lot of shit. I'm still heavily encumbered. Give me a second. I'm sorry, guys. This is probably not that interesting. But I need to sell. God damn it, I can't pause there. Give me a moment. I'll get there. Listen, I want that armor. 
ever at your service. Yeah, trade, babe, trade. Oh my god, look at that. Oh shit, shit indeed. Oh. Oh, you don't have gold? <laughs> no, I don't have. Okay, I need to buy something from her so she has gold again. So, oh, wait, what I, I can do is just trade. I can barter, right? Let me barter. That's better. Because I got so much shit. I want this devotee devotion thing. And I'll give you rotten eggs. You would think after I defeated the bridge troll, I would have so much. But, yep. Yay! True, so. All right, so why am I still so heavily encumbered? Oh, no, we're fine. I was like, what? Making me sweat. Making me sweat. I kind of want to see. <laughs> Listen, it might not be good for Carlac, but it looks really cool. Whoa, I don't give a fuck. I'm probably going to give it to, no, because they still have good armor but i really like that okay we're good to go finally after fucking five hours and this was funny when it was just goblins branded asses but you lot mean business eh hey a little bit eh all right so we did that jesus whoa whoa you'd find better lodgings out in the war camp trousseau mm. i know we're all one under the absolute but you do not want to bunk with an ogre you're speaking as of experience or what? Shall we try and talk to the ogre then? Hey, who are you? Don't mind Meg and her meat sounds. It's just her brain slopping around in her skull. That's so rude. That's so rude. What if you're very eloquent, actually? Hello, Meg. Hush. Meat sounds above. Here. Yeah. That's a no, then. Meat sounds above. I failed. Is it you? I think you might be hearing things. Is it you? No. Meg only small. This huge. In walls above. Maybe whole tower. Huh. You find meat? You we saw something coming out of the fireplace in the kitchen, didn't we? She might be onto something. Hmm. Let's find out, I guess. Yeah, that's the prison break that I actually completed. Hello, I'm kind of proud of that. Anything else? Absolute door. Shall we open up? Oh, okay, I know where that is. Hold on. I need to get rid of you. The absolute eye. Oh, what's that? Shall we talk to the disciple then? Because I think that's about it. And I kind of want to go upstairs. So we might just do that, because I'm curious what they're talking about. Meat? What do you mean, meat? All right, so I'm going to try and... Hello, Dren, how are you doing? Can I loot you? Oh, that's fine. I'm fine to loot you. You know what? Send to camp, because my stash is empty now. I'm going to save, because I don't want to mess it up. And we're going to talk to the disciple. Because I'm assuming she's so happy with me. So happy after I let the goblins go. Recruiting gnolls. Though gnolls verge upon being brute beasts who cannot follow orders, couched in even the simplest terms, they can fulfill one important role in an army such as the one we are building, that of vanguard shock troops. Howling gnoll berserkers can be sent ahead in frontal assault to absorb the defender's spells and missile volleys, exhausting our enemy's ammunition before the arrival of the organized phalanxes of our less savage troops. So yeah, cannon fodder. Accordingly, Ragzil's Hobgoblin Rangers are hereby detached to the wilderness to track down Gnoll War Packs, capture each pack's flight leader, and bring them back in good condition to Moonrise Towers for tadpoling. 
They're very clever. The flines can be then returned to their war pack, where we can count on rank and file to follow the orders of their leaders. We will then be loyal to the absolute. Six such packs should meet our needs. See to it. Disciple Zell on behalf of General Catherick. This is troubling. I'll check that. A spear? To real. And whatever lies beyond the stars. Hmm. Taking the groves off the table. Ooh. By Catherick Tor. Druids, meddling and meddlesome. I have history with them that makes me wary of underestimating them. Oh yeah, he has history, alright. They will certainly not welcome the rise of the Absolute in their vicinity and could become significant obstacles if we don't find a way to take them out of play. But ya didn't. I speak here for starters of the Emerald Grove and of the Cloakwood Circle. And they were corrupted actually. They cannot easily be defeated without a significant diversion of resources, but they can perhaps be neutralized from within. Druids, by their very nature, do not smile. Yantus value the balance of natural forces over the welfare of humanity in general. And in the extreme, this can be expressed by a faction historically known as the Shadow Druids, who favor complete separation of the circles from what they regard as the ills of civilization. This is what we've seen with the Emerald Grove and the manipulation of Karga. We shall identify the current leaders of the Shadow Druids, cultivate them with gifts while intimidating them with threats, and encourage them to see that the wisest and most prudent course is for the Druid circles to stand neutral as the Army of the Absolute marches on the blighted cities of the civilized, which meant the dome. Staying neutral and not involving themselves, hitting themselves, hiding themselves away. Disciples Rel shall select an appropriate agent to parlay with the Shadow Druid leaders. Eventually, all shall be infected with the tadpoles. I'm glad. I'm glad I did something about that. Oh no, sir. Oh no. What's this? Works. The recent dismemberment of Agent Moss through Soul 26 by Lord Harold's guards at the Ring Fork Stronghold is a clear indication that our strategy for co-opting the Orcs of Trilta Hills needs to be adjusted. Sending a Herald to talk was regarded as a evidence of weakness, so we must assume an attitude of dominance in our next attempt. The true soul among us who best understands Orcish customs is undoubtedly Sir Jax of Scor Noble. He shall be sent, backed up by a pair of ogres, to deliver a direct personal challenge to Lord Harold, using as an excuse the dismemberment of Moss. Yax is to defeat Harold and then force him to swear fealty to the Absolute. And in return, we shall back Harold in the conquest and alliance of the other two Trelta tribes, inform Sir Jax as soon as he returns from the Werewoods. Disciple Zell, on behalf of General Catherick. You wouldn't think it would be a fight to the death in their situations and circles of the orcs. Okay, well, let's try and talk. You're not the first to brave the dark for the absolute. <laughs> the war camps are full to bursting. Ah, oh, you Scottish, my lady. Very interesting. Even the Scottish people are bursting to join the absolute power. No feuding under this roof, true soul. We're all one under the absolute. More's the pity. Right. All right. Well, let's talk to the disciple then wanting to do that this entire time, but I was a little delayed because of my trading situation. Listen, it needs to be done. Ooh, this is really pretty though. Stained glass is gorgeous. I would love stained glass in my home, but I first need to have a home. <laughs> oh, okay. What's going on here? All right. I know I got to go the other way, but I kind of want to see what's happening here. Big ass library. No word from Baltazar. Sir, you need to... F oh, I can maybe destroy him here. Go. 
I said, go! 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 Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, sorry! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. As long as they don't... That's fine. That's fine. Okay, it's fine. As long as nobody else sees me. There you go. There you go. See, we're fine. Woo! Okay, very good. No one back home will ever believe this. Very good. So now we can see this. Got rid of one again. No word from Balthazar. Balthazar has said neither word nor noticed. Whenever, wherever he's gone is a mystery. Needs someone to investigate his chambers. But no doubt he's rigged the thing to high hells. Perhaps hobgoblins. Oh. Interesting. Get the rest. I need to keep shot. What are you talking about? We're fine. Plenty left to see. <laughs> what do you mean, rest, babe? Oh, there's more in here. Invasion plans for Baldur's Gate. Mrs. von Ketterick. Gortash, the tone of your recent letter is inappropriate. You may follow the Lord of Tyranny, but I do not answer to him or to you. It isn't the fault of any of the Chosen that the artifact has gone astray. Artifact, huh? Unforeseen events occurred, 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 <laughs> as they always do. I acknowledge your planning mastery and brilliance of mind, but your lack the depth of experience that brings patience and composure. The artifact will be found. Our enemies will be thwarted. We will prevail. Now show us that you are reliable as well as brilliant. General Catherick Torn. Oh, he's got the patience, all right. He's been lying dead for uh, centuries, it seems, or at least it, it sort of feels like that, but now he's undead. How old is he really? Actually really intrigued by Catherick Torn. Really, really am a little gift. He seems like a very interesting figure. Marcus, I assume no explanation is needed for just how rare these appendages are, and I trust you shall make good use of them. You have a golden opportunity to please the general. Do not squander it. Access to the unwilling donor has proven difficult since the harvesting. But if I am afforded the opportunity, I shall pass along your gratitude. Okay. Whoa, there's a lot happening. Hey. Is there any meat about? Hello. Seen the view out west from the terrace? All those beasts camped under one banner. I should That's look. That's the absolute's power. The general's power. Right. Is the absolute Lady Shar? That just hit me. Wait a minute. Is the absolute Lady Shar? Nah. Nah, really? Because we know Catherick Torm, Catherick, Catherick Torm was actually the disciple of Shar, Lady Shar, and now he's following the Absolute? Why didn't that hit me before? It might not be the thing, but are the two one and the same? Um, okay. Hey, true soul. What's the word? Armies gathered outside. The general giving us marching orders. Not quite yet. Why, soldier? Do you have somewhere else to be? The Absolute's plan will unfold in good time, have fate. Stare her down. Why, soldier? You got somewhere else to be. Just keen to get back to the gate is all. I was born there. I want to be the first to put it to the torch. Jesus Christ. Well, love for your homeland. I don't see them. I don't see you. I, oh, nope, don't see them yet. From the wester side. Well, this is not the west side, is it? <laughs> nope. No, it ain't. Heavy chest, though. Heavy chest. I'll take that. That smells interesting. What are you talking about? Still haven't talked to the disciple. It's fine. Let's see what else we have. Invasion plans for Bulge Gate. Absolute outfit. Let's send that to camp. I might be able to sell it. <laughs> What's inside? Oh, I don't know. Where are you going? Okay. I'll take it. 
All right, so I assume we're here. Yep, okay, yep, that's a big yep. It's locked. Oh, hello. Um, what are you guys doing up here? General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Ooh. Even you, disciples, Ralph? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. Oh, what's going on with the meat? The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. <laughs> no. Better yet. Show me. Oh no! Your mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. I need to talk my way out of she this! She sees the goblins walking free, and a burning rage fans across your mind like wildfire. I was gonna talk my way out of it! Or I dead, they're a waste. Free, they spread the word of the absolute. They won't get far. Let the curse take them and save us the job of cleaning up their innards. You said I could do whatever I wanted with them, so I did. You know what? The curse will take them. Why would we have so much effort to do after cleaning up their insides? You know, we don't want to do that, babe. No. All right. Well, fuck me. I beat the more. Go. Come on. We just the curse will get him. <laughs> See, the curse will get him. It's fine. See, I can talk my way out of this. I knew I would, Asterion. You're happy? Very pragmatic. But very boring. Nah. Let's see if there's anything interesting in this brain of yours. Um, no thank you. Parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Invasive. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. Is she now? Uh, distract her with thoughts of your aching for Carlag. Uh, how about I don't do that? Uh, distract her with your lusts for Asterion. What about love? What about love? Deception, fake it. Fill your mind with love for the absolute. Distract her by drawing her towards your hunger for power. Overwhelm her by unleashing a wave of hatred as you prepare to attack. Mm, how about no? L um, I, not lusts, but um, love for Asterion then? I mean, that's the closest to the truth, so let's go. Alright, Asterion. This shouldn't be too hard for me here, though. <laughs> I'm thirsty all the time. See? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> She's like, ew, you're such a simp. <laughs> Disgusting! My, my. Your lust for the neck pricker is succulent. I'd like to take a bite out of him myself. I don't think so. I th <laughs> She's like, no. Absolute. Your fantasies can become more real than flesh. The pleasures of the mind can surpass those of the body. Really? I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Hmm, show me the power she gave you. Good for you. <laughs> How do I get what I want? Everything. What exactly do you want? What do you want? To take without asking. To feel without doubting. And to kill without consequence. Cheery. In a word, freedom. Mm, your definition of freedom and my definition of freedom is very different. But you do you. I love freedom myself. That's a little abstract. Show me something real. Sounds good. How do I get what I want? Freedom, your only purpose is to serve Ketherick and the Absolute. How about I don't say that? I want to get on her good side. Show me something real. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? Mm -hmm. She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. Oh! I didn't want to do that! But I can caress as well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thor. Oh my god! I have a mission for you. I feel bad. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. Fine! I live to serve. What do I need to do? I feel bad. 
I didn't want her to... I, I was like, show me something real, like give me a sense of bliss. I didn't think they would actually kill the ogre. Damn it. I live to serve. What do I need to do? Oh, do you? Well, it happens that I seem to have a prize. And why should I serve General Torm? Is it true General Torm is invulnerable? I kind of want to ask that. Can I ask that? I'm going to ask that. Indeed. The Absolute's love for him has made him more than mortal. He is unstoppable. Mm, I live to serve. What do you want me to do? There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. We read it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can, and bring the relic home. Okay, understood. I'm ready to head out. What if Balthazar is dead? What exactly was this relic he was sent to retrieve? You said you lost contact. What do you mean? What if he's dead? Death would not silence Balthazar for long. Right. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. What is the relic? And what exactly was this relic he was sent to retrieve? It is something that General Thorm desires, and that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. <laughs> Not a description. God damn it! Why do I keep failing my insides today? All right, I'm ready to head out. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You will need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. Another one? But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Ew! <laughs> Disgusting. Ah, inspiration gained. Clear conscious. Interesting. Whoa, I got his room key. Speak to the dead. Can we talk a little bit more? It is not your time yet, blessed one. The rooftop chapel is reserved for the general's private contemplation. Save for those he chooses to ascend. I don't like the word we ascend. The place. We have to get inside. Apparently so. Let me pause. I'm a true soul. And how is one chosen to ascend? I'm sure you have done a great many things to get this far, true soul. But above, you will stand in her very presence. Such an honor requires. I'm so curious. Her words are diplomatic, but her face betrays her true feelings. Utter contempt for you and all your kind. Really? The Disciples Rel has given you a chance to earn that honor. What's up with you, babe? Proof you are ready, reach out for her tadpole. You don't believe I'm worthy. And if I choose to go anyway, will you stop me? What's with the skeletons? Does the absolute dabble in necromancy now? Shall we try this? Let's go. Oh boy, come on, I'm worthy. I'm a true bloody fucking soul. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Shadow. Your tadpole grasps at nothing. Oh. She carries no parasite. She's... But you've spent too long reading people not to see what's behind her eyes. Scorn, stark behind her mask of deference. As you see, true soul there is so much more for you to learn interesting she doesn't have a true that is intriguing okay i can't read that scroll speak to the dead glory of the absolute well that's kind of sad oh personal reminder let me read that Balthazar has said neither word or notice. Wherever he's gone is a mystery. He needs someone to investigate his chambers, but no doubt he's rigged the thing to high hells. Perhaps hobgoblins. Yeah, okay. Wide, gaping sockets that see nothing. Ah! And still they seem to watch you. Okay, that's nice. That's, that's nice. Is this Balthazar's room? Okay. Let me, let me, let me save a little bit. Let me save a little bit. Ah! Not for communal use, it seems. 
Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. Sorry, sorry. I thought it was the Baltasar thing. Excuse moi. Not for communal use. <laughs> Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. She hates my guts. Okay. What is the Baltasar thing then? I thought it was a room for Baltasar. Well, excuse me if it's not. Okay, we're definitely being watched. Listen. Trust no one. Listen. Yeah, that's two turns. I need a better one, like 10 turns. Let's go. Invisibility. Oh shit, I fucked up, really. Hold on, split. Split! Pleasure. <laughs> You've been warned. Uh oh. Not for communal use. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. You've been warned. Sorry. They hate my guts. Be nice. Be nice. <laughs> Girl, it's fine. I'm sorry. I know you don't like me very much, which is a pity. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Fuck up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! I don't know where I am. Oh. What do you mean failed? Ah, oh, careful. No! Shit! This is a restricted Shit. area. Time to explain yourself, or this guard will be restricting <laughs> you to a cell. Damn it! Okay, try and convince them you belong here. Try your talk your way. I belong here, babe. Okay, why are you looking at me like that? I live here. <laughs> Intimidation. I'm here for a routine inspection. I'm sure your superiors will be very interested to know you tried to deny me entry. Look at me. Do I look dangerous? I'm gonna be deceptive. <laughs> I live here. <laughs> 20 more. <laughs> well, I do have a lot of inspiration points. So. Nah, 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 no way. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna try one more time, okay? Go on, give me good. Bitch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. You managed to talk your way in. No easy feat. <laughs> oh my god, really? I live here, you see. I fucking live here! Oh my god, I can walk freely now? Oh. Oh! That creature was rather pretty. Ah, damn it! Well, at least I can kind of like. Bars, you wanna help me? Maybe? No, you don't want to help me right now? Well, this is really my fault, isn't it? <laughs> Guards, please! <laughs> well, I might be able to survive this anyway. It's fine. Freezing strike. Let's go! Bitch! La 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 la. Bye! Yeah, bye! Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Ew! Disgusting! Why are you gross? Alright, let's see what we have. Leave me alone! All I wanted in life, <laughs> over here, was to loot! Nice, good job! Can I help my boys? Can I help my boy? Alright guys, we might... Okay. See, we're, we managed to talk our way in, so we're gonna have to help my boy. Yeah, we joined the fray. We joined the fray. Okay, okay, bye-bye. I need to help my baby. Oh, weapon stolen? Oh, that's expensive, mind you. How dare you? Cry about it. Yeah, cry about it. 
You missed. I'm gonna cry about it now. No, I don't wanna do that. Grab him! Grab him! Nice! Give me back the money! But at least we're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. Rude stained letter. Can I read that? My darling daughter, when you were a little girl, I would often watch you play with your dolls and your cousins and picture myself an enormous, opaque, a silvery shield surrounding you, protecting you. I knew somehow deep within myself that no harm could ever befall on you because I would not let it. Though the healers say I may pass into the city of judgment soon, know this, darling daughter. I am always around you. I am always with you. And a moon maiden will never allow you to bear a burden you cannot carry. I love you forever. A love that has no death. Mama. Well, that's fucking tragic. What's this? Spine Shredder Amulet? Ooh. Gail, you want that? Alright, I'll, I'll be taking this. Sure. Alright, um, can I please have my stuff back? <laughs> yeah, under the Mountain King and Stealing Life. Very good. Alright. Group. Wonderful. Ah, oh, damn. I don't have shorts rest anymore. I'm just gonna right. see what, what else we have here. We got roots. Ooh. Salunite. A thiefling? Interesting. This diary records the life of John Meadowlin. He suffered from he suffered from lycanthropy, becoming a werebear at the event of the full moon. A werebear, not even a werewolf. Cursed of his condition by a priestess of Salunite, John Meadowlin exchanged his claws for a great sword and a cause. He would keep this priestess, her name was Erlona, safe from all the troubles on the highway and byways. Further, he would bear witness to her many miracles, for Erlona was a saint of the goddess and gifted even more than he could ever imagine. They never fell in love though. Their friendship was quite something. That's nice. I can't believe I talked my way in here. There's a plug here. Any insights? Melodia Thorne, loving mother and beloved wife. Her light will never be forgotten. I didn't even realize that this was the family. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize that. The family actually lived here before. I just felt like it was a random ass tower. Of course it's not. Oh, the Torn Legacy actually was founded here. Oh my gosh. Of course he's based here then. Magic pockets. Got a guard key. Let's see if there's anything else here. Can we see the camp? Not yet. Oh, well, that's nice. Let me sit on that because I have deserved the right to do this, apparently. Ooh. Anything else? A heavy chest. Can we open that? I'll take it. Seems cold here. We can go up here if we want. Hold on. Oh my goodness. goodness. Where's this? Interesting. Okay, let me explore a little bit more. Can't believe we talked our way in here. Let's see what we have. Wine. What the fuck? Stand, soldier. These are the general's private. Quarters. Oh, really? Wait. Something in your scent is familiar. Is that so? I'm just exploring the tower. I mean no harm. Give her your best salute. 
down, lapdog. A true soul walks where they please. Stay still and let her smell you. Oh, scratch ball. I'm a friend. I have food to share. Easy, I'm leaving. <gasps> you want scratch ball? I'm gonna let her smell me. I do not know your face, but your scent. Salunite magic. It used to fill these halls back when I was flesh. Look at her little Since my master tail. brought me back, this place smells wrong. His family is gone, replaced by bootlickers and beasts. It smells wrong to you. You are neither. So tell me true. What is your purpose here? Uh, I'm here to serve Ketrick as loyally as you do. I only want to stop the Absolute. Your master is beyond saving. I'm here to end him. To so make sure your master dies screaming, preferably. I only want to stop the Absolute. Should I be honest with the little doggy? Do we even want to deceive her? I mean, I think she still is loyal. He cared enough about the dog to bring her back. I only want to stop the absolute. I think she might be against the absolute because it smells wrong. Let me try. I protect my master. What becomes of his master, I care not. Good. Pass then, but I will be watching. Oh, my scent seemed to trigger a memory in you. What was it? Not your scent. Slunite magic on your skin. The general once smelled that way. When his daughter still lived. I died the same night she did, my master says, trying to protect her. Oh. I do not remember. How sad is that? But he brought me back. I will not fail him again. How sad. Oh my goodness. So we can just see what's going on then? Okay, read. Most of the texts have been scored away by time, but what remains appears to be some form of ritual incarnation, incantation. Your wide ribs, the pillars, your bleached skull, the dome, take on Apostle's final form. Cathedral rod of blessed bone. Religion failed. Do you want to read that, babe? The ritual doesn't seem related to Charles Luna. What's Catherick been up to? Interesting. So not sure then. Not sure. The ethic of war. Hmm. My colleague and Memps proposes fair rules of engagement in times of war and forgiveness upon victory. Are we to spare our enemies, then once they have fallen to our might? Are we to put all hatred behind us when surrender is offered? Indeed not. For what shall we do once our opponent gathers new armies and masses them once again along our borders? We shall wage war another war, and count the lives snuffed out by our own magnanimity. Once an enemy kingdom is conquered, it can be it must be raised to the ground. Only then can we be free of inspector. Surrender denied. Then linen bucket. Ugh. So is he gonna come back? Unsent letter. Baltazar, I thank you for returning what was mine, and I have no doubt all will be well once the war is won. After that, I believe our business will be concluded. A different life, a better life awaits. Catherine Torm. Invasion. Oh, another. A map of Altugard centering on the city of El Turel and showing the nearby towns of Trill, Scornoble, and Burdusk. A series of uncentric lines around the city with all avenues of escape blocked off. Plans for a siege. That's nice. Yeah, in Baldur's Gate, the Sword Coast, Missive. 
Potash. General, given what we know from my research about the GIS artifact, I can't emphasize enough how critical it is that it be recovered. The power that the artifact contains can boost our own efforts to unforeseen levels, but it falls into hands of the enemies of wit and persistence. It could bring down all of our plans and schemes. <laughs> oh. The body of our hand-picked captain for the artifact raid wasn't found in the wreckage of the Neutraloid, and I am not at all easy in my mind about that fact. Find the artifact, employ Ridge's means, do not fail. Potash. Can I get the chest? Right, she doesn't mind. There's a lever here. Okay. A lot of grapes, there's a chest. She doesn't mind me lockpicking it, so let's see. What do we have? Okay, you growl, baby. That's fine. Oh, that's our chiquetri. My darling husband! I know my time is drawing near. I do not want to leave you. I do not want to leave our little girl. But I'm not riding to lament our lot. It's ours and no others. Though the city of judgment is dark, I know Our Lady's light will find me even there. I will see her shining spires and walk the silver gardens we both dreamt of. I go to my reward and leave quite a task to you yet, my heart. Zulu Knight's light shines bright in our little one. But she will need a guide to keep her on her path. I have no doubt she will keep you on yours. It is the same path, our lady's path, and one day I know it will bring you both back to me. Only not too soon, I hope. I won't say goodbye, there is no loss, only temporary separation. How I love you forever. Melodia, do you think once his family passed on, he turned from Salunite to Char, and it all went downhill from there. Why, that's almost beautiful. Imagine what she'd think if she saw him now. That's tragic. Why? Absorb elements. I'll be taking you if you don't mind. <laughs> Kesarik is not gonna- oh, there's an urn there. He's not gonna mind that, right? He's not gonna mind that, right? Oh, that's nice. But I kind of want to give it to me so you can wear that because it's better with your outfit. Yeah, that's cute with your little outfit. And then I'll wear that because it goes well with my outfit. I don't want to hear it. It's true. <laughs> Asterion, where'd you keep the cape? Did I get it? Oh, I already got it. Nice. All right. What's this then? Oh, Elder Brain Domination. Confidential, dictated to Scribe Yantus by Ketherick. Young Gortash plans to enslave an illithiate Elder Brain and make it our marionette under control of the Crown of Carcus has proceeded almost without flaw, bearing the slight delay while our ballast allies sorted out their leadership conflict. The weak point must surely be the sharing of the nether stones. It was necessary to secure my engagement and that of the murder cult, but eventually it's certain to fracture our fragile alliance. Clearly all three nether stones must be controlled by a single leader, me by preference, but not until after all the stakeholders have made their essential contribution. Gortash fears that, energized by the dark energies of the crown, the brain we now call the absolute... The brain will eventually metaphose into something new and more difficult to control. If he's right, the need to investigate the power of the nether stones in a single wielder is urgent, even more so than the ever portage. At least must be thinking the same way. What the fuck? The nether stones must be controlled by a single leader. 
energized by the dark energies of the crown, the brain we now call the absolute, will have a will of its own and more difficult to control. It's an experiment? The elder brain? That's the absolute. Am I getting that right? It's an experiment, not even a goddess? I'm so... What? Okay. Okay, there's a lever there. Shall we get the lever? I mean, I'm kind of out of time, but I kind of want to get the lever. Oh my god. Oh. Chart prayer book. This is intriguing. My dark goddess, when I lost my daughter, I learned my purpose. My dark goddess, when I learned my purpose, I gathered the flock. My dark goddess, when the flock was full, I punished the wicked. My dark goddess, when the wicked struggled, I struck them down. My dark goddess, I am yours. This is what I meant. When he lost his family, he went cuckoo. He abandoned Salunite, and here he is. A crooked touch. Let's see. 30! Holy fuck. I'm gonna save. <laughs> I don't trust this. What the fuck? Never light stairs. Oh. Something over there. Is this Balthazar's chamber? Apprentice? The Moon Lantern. Oh my gosh. Row of books? What the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. Pool? Poisons and vet. Okay, it's it's tricked, right? Do we want to do this? Oh. Yo, yo, yo. Are we being smoked out? Oh, yep, we definitely are. Let's go. I knew there would be. Okay, that's bad. Yeah, we're being fucking poisoned. I should not. Oh, I'm locked! <laughs> Open! Open! Oh, come on, let's get out of here! Let's get out of here! I knew that would happen. I'm stupid. Okay, well, we gotta wait that one out. Oh, I knew. He told me it was rigged. Alright, well, I'm fine. Traveler's chest. Let's see. Okay, well, let's grab that, I suppose. Notes. Request from the next caravan. Any work by the Morden Canaan must catch up on curate events. No volo. Volo. Better a century of ignorance. Thin vellum holds ink like no other. Could harvest from an aculite. New copy of Swift and Sudden Death for library. Current volume badly scorched. Musty tombs. Conf okay, interrogations. Ah, oh, all right. Well, we're getting him hard. Okay, let's get the hard because why not? Another corpse. Oh, attention, acolytes. Blood bank bottle. Oh, at least we got some wine. Yay! Attention. A reminder, acolytes are permitted entry to my chambers for the sole purpose of collecting moon lanterns. My library is not to be tampered with. While the Absolute appreciates your eagerness to learn, my bookshelves do not. Any request to borrow from them must be given to me in advance and are like to be refused. Should you desire information on poisons, do not think to read any tome on the subject here. Yeah, no shit. They are inclined to grant more knowledge than the written word could provide. Remember, the absolute purpose is better served by a beating heart than a poisoned mind. Though if you choose death, I will ensure you serve her still. <laughs> Great. Personal notes. Oh, this is gross! The altar! Note, install a drain beneath library's conventional medicine shelf. 
It's wasteful to let all that blood sleep, sweep through the flagstones, and it will rust the spikes besides. A line slashed through the above, the same hand in flesh ink below. Disregard, the smell gives me sweet dreams! Kinda wanna mess with his library a little bit more. Interrogations, what did the medicine do? <laughs> Should have fucking known. These are all fucking traps. Listen, listen. Sudden death? A scorched book, its pages sinked and tattered. Though its contents have been rendered illegible by some unknown phenomenon, it is still possible to make out the dictation. To those who doubted me, may the storm claim your final breaths and the earth reject your rest. Oh, that's nice. Severed arm, foot. This is lovely, really. Lovely, lovely room. Interrogations. Death costs. I, I am. <laughs> Why would I do this? These are all traps, but I'm like, oh, curiosity. Curiosity killed the fucking cat. You know what? It's fine. We can defeat them. See, we're fine. Boo. <laughs> no, don't Get take me. Way. You cannot take me. I forever, pal. Bye forever, pal. Let's go. You cannot take me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Da 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 da. Boom. Boom. Nice, babe. Oh, he's not dead yet. What about now? Boom. Hey, what's that? Oh, that's nice. Da da da. Let's grab that. No escape. Nice. Cannot bite you though. <laughs> Alright, we're fine. So we only have one left. <laughs> Shall we do the other one? Fuck it. I've been I've come so far. Must eat. Oh, I don't wanna do this. No, you know what? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Let's just get the moon lantern. Oh, and let's grab that. Sure! Last book. Oh, there's a disc. The disc is formed from slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. I should give it to Lazel. It closely resembles the disc that Lazel deciphered. This time, the symbols easily resolve into coherent words and sentences. The story of Orpheus further unfolds. Ooh. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver, that his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon, Ephelaman. Propaganda. Black its faithful roar out this tale. But beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. Oh, really? The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlacketh's tyranny. Ooh. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. That's the chapter ends there. This disc might be of some interest to Lazel. You can say that again. Disc? Are these Gith Yankee markings? Lazel might know. Yeah, I'm gonna give her that. That's intriguing. I'm really hoping we get to stand behind the prince, the comet prince, because I'm really curious. And I don't trust Vlacket for a second. Unfortunately, guys, I'm a little out of time for today. We're gonna have to do a long rest, but we also have to explore Baltazar's room a little bit more because it's gross. I mean, look at it. So many bodies hanging from the ceiling too. This is lovely. But I'm gonna have to leave the episode here. I'll be picking it up really soon, don't you worry. If you did like the video, don't forget to leave a like because that really helps me out. Subscribe if you for some reason have not already. And here's my Patreon if you really want to support me and the channel. And I guess I will see you in the very next episode of Baldur's Gate 3. See ya!